Hello guys, um, as you can see we're at uh, Plato's Resort and uh, I actually have been here for almost four weeks now. This is going to be my last training day here. The reason for why I came here was that uh, the situation with the corona pandemic in, uh, in Sweden and Stockholm got, got really really bad uh, and they were closing more and more swim halls and, and gyms so it got really difficult to, to keep up the swimming at home. And uh, yeah, so I just fled the country and uh, and came here, where you can uh, yeah you have the best possibilities. And a big thanks also to uh, Apollo Sports, uh, which uh, gave me a really great deal on my on my month here. Uh, it wouldn't have been possible to come here for this long time without without the support from from Apollo. So now I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what my focus has been um, training wise in each uh, discipline and I'm going to start with swim. So here um, the main focus has been towards um, getting a good feeling for the water and laying down a good aerobic foundation uh, by, by doing rather much volume, not too much volume um, in the pool but, uh, but rather much. Um, Overall, I think the, the swim is in a in a decently good place for, for being me, of course. Um, I, on on the 24th, uh, like on Christmas Eve, I actually did sort of a, a small Christmas challenge uh, in the pool, uh, and I did a full Ironman swim in um, a, a full 3,850 meter consecutive swim, uh, where I managed to hold 120 per per 100. Uh, which I think is a, that's a really good foundation to, to keep uh, building the, the swim fitness from. On the bike, I have um, also had a lot of focus on laying a strong aerobic foundation, which uh, mainly has been achieved by doing uh, plenty of regular aerobic volume. And uh, the main part of the aerobic work has uh, been conducted within the within the so-called fat max zone which is uh, where the fat oxidation processes uh, are as at its peak and for me uh, this zone is between 250 to 300 watts and that's basically where my average power for for most rides um, has been at and um, to, to increase your, your fat oxidation process is obviously very important for, for Ironman performance. Otherwise, I have been uh, mixing up the, the, aerobic, uh, the aerobic rides by doing uh, low cadence um, reps in the hills. Um, 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the, the length of the climbs, at, uh, at a very low cadence, below 60 RPM and, and sweet spot intensity, uh, which for me is but it, it's been around 350 to 360 watts and uh, for each of those sessions I've accumulated between two and a half and or yeah two to two and a half hours of, of total work at that intensity and uh, cadence. We've also done some specific work at Ironman and 70.3 intensity um, so for instance we have we could have had like an aerobic ride uh, which has included like four times 20 minutes at 7.3 intensity, um, which is probably 350 watts, uh, and uh, some slightly longer efforts at target Ironman power, uh, 40 minutes to one hour at um, around 320 watts. On the run, my my main focus has been um, just getting back to to my sort of normal. Um, running training and um, yeah I've been adapting a back to running protocol while I'm here uh, which um, alternating um, running and walking and um, as the as the protocol has progressed it's been more and more running and less and less walking um, now I'm actually done with the back to running protocol and uh, I've been doing some slightly longer sessions um, I feel I'm landing quite naturally again at uh, 350 to 4 minutes per K which was my 
Uh, sort of cruising pace, aerobic endurance pace uh, before I got injured uh, and I'm landing there quite naturally already. Um, my heart rate is um, pretty much at the same same level as it was before the injury also. Uh, however, my resilience in, in the legs is obviously not quite there yet. Um, I'm getting a little bit stiff after after each run. So I think in like one to two months, I will be back to my, my old running shape again, I think.